What's that wiener genius up to now? I don't know, but whatever it is, I bet I don't understand it. <clears throat> oh boy, tug of war! <laughs> or not. 72, 73, 74, 75. Okay, I'm curious. And 134 equals... 3.141592. Stupendous! Strudel, what is it? You won't believe this, but if you multiply the diameter of the parking lot by the height of the fence, then divide it by the length of this kennel, you get pie. Cherry or pumpkin? No, no, not pie pie. Pie pie, as in 3.14159, the magic number of Euclidean geometry. Doesn't anyone share my excitement? We share it, Strudel. We don't understand it, but we share it. <sighs> Nobody gets me. Looks like we got visitors. You know the drill. Everybody bark. <laughs> Mr. Sasaki, welcome to my humble pound. I am so pleased to meet you. Yo, koso irasa imasta. I have no idea what you just said. That's quite all right, Mr. McLeish. He has no idea what you just said either. Mr. Sasaki only speaks Japanese. I'm Milton Feltwaddle, by the way, Assistant Vice President of North American Operations and your interpreter. Perfect. I should probably stop bowing, shouldn't I? I think that would be a swell idea. To the office! Hmm, interesting. I think it's time for a little eavesdropping. Sakura, Sakura, Yayuri no Sora. <coughs> Sorry, and that's all I memorized. Bottoms up. For an old handyman, Olaf sings like a dream, don't you think? Uh, yeah. But on to business. As I mentioned earlier, Mr. Sasaki and his associates represent Puchashita Incorporated. But what you may not know is that in Asia, they've made dog catching a billion dollar business. B billion They're fixing to expand into America. Uh, what did he say? He says Kennel 17 has the best placement record in the entire world. You hear that? Simply the best. And it's all because of me. <laughs> That's right. Which is why Pen approval from the city, we are acquiring this property and putting you in charge of Puchashita's very first office on the continent. Oh, boy! Welcome, Mr. McLeish, to the future of Shelter 17. Oh, <gasps> it's huge! A little too huge, perhaps. Too huge, my tail! Think of all the dogs we'll be able to place. Yeah, we're the luckiest pound puppy unit in the world. Yeah, I wonder. And now to celebrate your gift, Mr. Sasaki. Quasi! Okay, Yay, yeah, 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 yeah. What? A dog? Like I need another one of those. I mean, goody. This is no mere dog. She is Toyoshiko, bark friend machine. Bark, Toyoshiko. Bark, bark, bark. Our meeting is over. Master Dog Catcher Makureishu. He says goodbye, but I'll be back to fill you in on how the deal is coming. A super kennel? How cool is that? I want to see the robot doggy. Hey, Strudel, you coming? I be up in a moment. I just need to check something out. Remember, don't let Toyoshiko out of your sight. Bond with her. Oh, don't you worry. Me and little Toilet here. Toyoshiko. We'll be the best of friends. Super. Bark, bark, bark. Oh. Bark, bark, bark. 
Stop! Get lost! Shoo! Go! Bark! 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 Problem solved! Now, come help me ogle my new office building. Ogling is what I do best. Bark! 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 Oh. That is one adorable, useless gadget. Yeah, a useless gadget that they demanded McLeish take. Uh, what are you talking about, boss? I don't know, but something's bugging me about this whole deal. Something's bugging me, too. I've made some calculations based on McLeish's model. According to the data, a structure that size will... Bark! 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 Oh, what an endearing piece of technology. Anyway, as I was saying... Bark! Bark! <laughs> Machine. Thank you for the compliment, talking dog. But it was really quite simple. Using Euclidean geometry, I merely calculated the necessary movements and opened the latch with my darling little muzzle. <gasps> it's a robot doggy that talks! Of course I talk. As do all of you, I note. Although the dog I am most drawn to is this female dachshund. I am pleased to meet you, female dachshund. My name is Toyoshiko, but you can call me Toyo. Would you like to bond with me? Ah, uh, sure, robot dog. It's always nice to meet a, uh, thing that enjoys geometry. Excellent! We are at this moment now the best of friends. Forever and ever and ever. <laughs> so the one theoretical physicist Greyhound tells the other theoretical physicist Greyhound, if you're so concerned about aging, try running at near the speed of light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Toyo, that is rich. Such a sense of humor. Amazing, don't you think? Uh, you were telling us about McLeish's new building? Ah, of course. Come to the lab. I can show you the problem. Toyo, we have internal business to discuss. Please go back to Mr. McLeish. Dogcatcher McLeish has not bonded with me. I refuse to be with him. That thing really is smart. Very well. Come along, then. What could it hurt? <laughs> The computer is compiling a 3D model of McLeish's new building. It is ready. Squirrels, press bone key, kibble key, fire hydrant key, then the squiggly symboled thingamajig. Are you sure you want to wipe out your hard drive? Uh, no! Back away! Back away! I must have miscalculated the... Perhaps I may be of assistance. Brilliant, Toyo! <laughs> Toyo, reveal lower levels. As you can see, the foundation of Puchishita's structure will sink far below ground. It will collapse our tunnels. But it's taken the pound puppy's generations to doggy dig those tunnels. Now we know what's been bugging Lucky. Somehow I still think it's the tip of the iceberg. But first things first, we gotta stop this building. How the heck are we gonna do that? May I offer my humble opinion? Uh, sure, Toyo? No way, no how. Unless we show Puchishita that Shelter 17's record is not what it's cracked up to be. You guys ready? Mr. Feltwaddle, welcome back. I take it you're here to begin construction. Not yet, but negotiations to buy the property are going great. Uh, say, where's Toyoshiko? What's that? La Toya? You mean that girl who does Olaf's hair? Toyoshiko, the robot dog. I hope you two are bonding. Oh, sure, bonding like glue. I think it's off taking a robo nap. This is, after all, such a soothing and well-run organization. <laughs> What the Sam P. Hillsville is that? <laughs> Mr. McLeish, what happened to your amazingly efficient pound? These dogs all have rabies. I, but I don't, I, I can't. <laughs> ah! Whipped cream? Mr. McLeish, you are a master. I am? You give the dogs cream to make their coats shiny, irresistible to adopting families. Uh, of course. It's brilliant, don't you think? I'm more confident than ever that we've picked the perfect man for our new office. Pet Toyoshiko for me. I'll be back soon with great news. At least we'll have shiny coats. You might as well face it, Lucky. Nothing's going to stop Poochie Sheeta from building on our pound. But we're going to have to shut down operations and start over somewhere else. Oh, I hate moving. <laughs> I'll have to make new friends. We'll be coming with you. Hooray! If I may, Toyo and I have been discussing the situation. And we have an alternate plan. 
construction would collapse our main tunnels. However, what is to stop us from digging a new tunnel away from the construction? Are you out of your ever-loving noggins? The ground in that direction is solid granite. You can't doggy dig through that stuff. Which is exactly why Toyo and I have developed this. The Pound Puppy Subterranean Tunneling Vehicle. I like it, I think. The concept is quite simple. If we can generate a minimum of 98 pound feet of torque divided by a compressive strength of 200 gigapascals, we can bore through a density of 2.65 grams over centimeters cubed. Meaning, our device will dig a new tunnel in no time at all. I won't pretend to understand what you just said, but lacking other options, I say, go dogs, go! To the lab! Talk about initiative. I had blueprints made. Now we can mark off boundaries for the groundbreaking. Quick thinking, sir. Stop kissing up and start pacing. 20 yards to the north. One, two, three, five, seven. Better eight, get it right, nine, Olaf. Ten, Nothing 11, escapes 12. the attention of Leonard McLeish. March. This one will function, as will this one. Toyo, you are a marvel! What kind of kid's toy gauges diameter with a laser scanner? Now, if we simply attach the dynamo to the resistance core, then we could run the rotor system on one half the herbs. Which means four to one turbo ratio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Toyo, you get me! You really get me! There is only one problem. What's that? What will we use for the nose cone? You're right. It would have to be made of the highest grade titanium shaped in a giant helix. But where would you find something like that? Yes. Where? La -de 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 -la -de 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 -da. Ah! My model, it's gone. Good, good. Hold it. Wrench, wrench. Careful, Toyo. That large magnet could wreak havoc on your hard drive. Ah, yes. Thank you. I would hate to erase my entire memory bank. Especially after all the fun memories we just created. You're a good friend, Toyo. A great friend. Thank you, Strudel. I didn't know what a friend was before I met you, but I do now. Best friends forever, Toyo. Best friends. That's sweet. Can I let go now? Cause the light is out. It tastes like pain. <clears throat> dogs and dogs. I present the K9 Pound Puppy Subterranean Tunneling Vehicle with a 9.7 Squirrel Power Engine. Wow. wow! I love it. Strudel, I gotta hand it to you. You actually pulled this off. I couldn't have done it without little Toyo Shiko Bark Friend Machine. Thank you, Strudel. But it was you who did all the heavy lifting. Hey, I lifted stuff, too! <laughs> <laughs> I was speaking metaphorically. Wordplay! Oh, you have got to love it! What? name of seismic activity is going on up there! Fort, quick, check it out! You got it! That's right, fellas! Bring him in! The world's most efficient dog catcher is ready for construction! Ah, oh, jeez. McLeish is bringing bulldozers in. He's getting ready to dig. makes me look fat. We've got bigger problems than that, Nibs. Toyo recorded everything we've been doing and saying. I had a feeling she was more than just a toy. But why would those guys leave a recording robot in the pound? Who knows, but if they ever download her hard drive, they'll find out we can talk. They'll find out everything. It'll mean the end of us, of the entire pound puppy organization. So, we gotta erase her memory? <sighs> we have no choice. No choice? If you erase her memory, you erase my friend. And that... I will not allow to happen. Strudel, please, you've got to look at this objectively. Toyo's been recording us. It's seen things no one was ever meant to see. Our tunnels, your equipment, Niblet cleaning himself. That right there is just wrong. It knows we can talk. Toyo is not an it. Toyo is a she. She's my friend. She understands my jokes. She understands me. Strudel, there's no other way. I suppose you're right. 
May I have a few moments alone with her first? Of course. Take all the time you need. Hello, my friend. Friend, yes. Best friends forever. I guess you overheard, Mr. Nut Nut. So you know what we have to do. All in all, Strudel took that pretty well. Surprisingly well, considering how much she likes that thing. She doesn't just like it. She loves it. But sometimes we all have to do things for the good of the... Hey, where's she going? She's making a run for it. Strudel, come back! <laughs> we can't let Toyo escape. We've got to stop them. We could circle around beneath the fence and head them off in the sewer. Mr. McLeish, what in the world? Hey there, Feltwobble. I've ordered the bulldozers to be at the ready. Ah, uh, okay. But where's Toyoshiko? The dog thingy? Yes. Japan sent over some software updates. I uh, thought I'd run the updates for you. Just point me the way. I'll start interfacing. Oh, no need. Besides, I haven't seen her in a while. What? McLeish, I specifically told you to bond with it. Now, how will I download the video... I mean, update her software. Kids stuff, Mr. Feltwaddle. Now, bulldozers, those are toys for men. Rev them up, boys. Start digging here, where my glorious tower will rise to the heavens, like my career. McLeish, are you mad? You're not supposed to be starting construction yet. But won't your company be impressed that I got a jump on things? What? No, they were never gonna... Uh, they collapsed Tunnel 8. Backfill it fast so nobody can trace it to the main control room. Right! That was quick. I thought it would take you hours to get that deep. Oh, it wasn't me. The ground caved in. You got a bunch of sinkholes under here. Sinkholes? Don't be ridiculous. Almost like somebody was digging tunnels. Digging tunnels? That's preposterous. Yeah, whatever, Mac. This area's too unstable. You couldn't build a porta potty on this property. Too bad. We could use one of those. But, but we still get to build my tower, right, Mr. Feltwaddle? Leash, you clown. How could you possibly be the best at anything? Even something as simple as dog catching. <laughs> Good question. The funny thing is we don't know. I mean, sometimes the dogs just disappear, and then later we find them, and they're with owners, and we never know how they got together. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have said that. I should have known you weren't what we thought. And I wasted a perfectly good spy bot on spy bot? Yes, spy bot. There was never going to be a new building. Puchashita was here on a cultural exchange to give you a model of their Tokyo headquarters in honor of your outstanding record. The dog was my idea. But I don't understand. Fifteen years I've been working for that corporation. Fifteen years and I'm still an interpreter? With your secrets of the trade, I could have clawed my way to the pinnacle of dog-catching success! Ah oh well, see ya. It's not fair! All my sky-high dreams, gone! <laughs> Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Oh, love's gonna buy you a mockingbird. Soon we'll break through into the sewer system, and then we'll really be friends forever! Giggle, giggle! Hooray! Anything for a friend. Well, Strodes, you guys did it. You built us a better tunnel than we had before. Yes, well, Toyo is an excellent operator. Yeah, how about Toyo? No, Lucky. I'm not going to do it. Look, Strudel, sooner or later, someone's going to find her. They'll download her data. Then what happens to our operation? What happens to all the pups and all the people who are meant to be together, but won't be? because we can't make it happen. Toyo is my friend, Lucky. You in particular should understand the importance of that. You all should. 
Okay, you're right. We'll just have to figure out some way to... No, it is true. Humans will find me, and because of my memory, so many happy memories will never be made. But we have memories... Don't worry, Strudel. You can't erase the memory of a friend. Yeah, she's been in there for days, just working and working. I hope she's all right. Hey, sometimes work is the best therapy. And I have a feeling Strudel's therapy is going to be the best ever. You guys ready? <laughs> Good. Then, contact. <laughs> Hello, Toyoshiko. My name is Strudel. Strudel, my friend. I have removed her graphics card so she will never record us again. And now to fill a little hard drive with new memories. Lesson one, once a pound puppy, always a pound puppy. And a friend is a friend forever. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, where is he? Hey, Squirt. Jeez, Sid, I I've been standing around for like half a dog year. So, is this it? Just like you asked for. Good, good. But with this thing, ain't nobody gonna stop us. <laughs> Dogs of Shelter 17, you are no doubt wondering why I have asked you here. Without further ado, I present the Finger Mama 6000! It waved at me. I think it likes me. Apart from liking Niblet, the Finger Mabob 6000 allows me to grab instruments, open cans, toss salads. And most importantly? Most importantly, it translates speech into human printing through the manipulation of a computer keyboard. In other words, I can type. Observe. McLeish, please call me. It's very important. The mayor. Goodness, it's working! It's working! Wait a minute. Something's happening! Hey! I thought it liked me! <laughs> Get off my belly! Schitzel Fritz! It still doesn't work right! Strudel, I'm not so sure about this. I know I can make it work, Lucky! The problem is these cheap old electronics. They're just not sophisticated enough. I simply need a cutting-edge quadranium sulfide transducer. Oh, it's just been so difficult to find one. Until now, behold! The quadrophobic, uh, transducic, uh, uh the, the thing that Strudel was talking about. But how did you... My buddy Schumann is a research scientist. He's with the military. No, a toy company. We will try it at once. Ah, this is too much pressure for one man to endure. Jump, Teddy Tough and Stuff, jump! <laughs> Curse you, slob goblins! I'll defeat you yet! What's this? An instant message from the mayor. Leonard, I order you to step into the parking lot at once in your undies. And bark like a rabid dog. That is an order, Leonard, now! That ought to do it. Well? I think you should have a look for yourself. It worked! It really worked! Thank you, Squirt! Hey, 
say anything to help Dogkind, huh? Nicely done. And just in time, too. As most of you know, in two days, McLeish is installing a hot tub off the main office. Hooray! I love hot tubs! And as most of you know, it's a bad thing. Hot tubs are evil! It'll block access to our primary hatch to McLeish's office. Now, to prevent it, we need to send McLeish an official order from the mayor to stop work. And now we can. All thanks to Strudel and Squirt. Lucky, we got company in the alley. I don't see anyone. Yeah, but I sure smell something, and it smells like cats. Smell us, and we magically appear. What are you doing here, Ace? We had an agreement to stay off each other's territory, and it... Relax, Lucky. We come in peace. Peace? Right. Come on, Rat Breath, what gives? I've been troubled lately by the ugly relationship between our species. We cats would like to put an end to it. And as a token of our sincerity, boys... Bacon. And not just any bacon. We're talking prime cut maple smoked nitrate free bacon. Only the best for our canine comrades. Wait, what's the catch? Catch? You offend me, Lucky. This is simply an olive branch to show our feelings are genuine. So what do you say? You call the rest of your team up here and have yourselves a celebration. Well... Please, Lucky! It's a giant pile of pork for Pete's sake! Oh... Why not? Cookie, get the other guys, and let's party! Yeah! I gotta say, Ace, I didn't think we'd ever be able to put our differences aside. Yes, well, in the long run, Lucky, we're all after the same thing, aren't we? Enjoy, buddy. We'll see you around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Don't that beat all. Whoever thought those cats would do us a solid like that, huh? Oh, my tummy is solid. Too much maple smoke goodness. There's no such thing. <coughs> Ew, correction, I have bacon belly. What was that? It came from downstairs, come on. What the? <coughs> <gasps> Mr. Nutnut! <coughs> you walked in and found him like this? Gagged with a rubber mouse, tied up with a ball of yard. What manner of creature would do such a thing? Yeah. <gasps> Squirt, how could you? It wasn't me, you big goof. It was them cats. <gasps> the thing I'm above is gone! Those lousy fur balls, I knew they were up to something. So the whole bacon thing was just a diversion? I can't believe I fell for it. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna march right over to their pound and take back what's ours. Why, Lucky, what a pleasant surprise. Whatever brings you to our alley. You know why we're here. Now hand the hand over. I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sure doesn't sound like thanks for the bacon. Ugh, dogs will be dogs. I should have known. Go find yourselves a nice car to chase, will you? I have important cat business to get back to. Oh, come you on! Got fever, 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 fever. Fever. Stinking cat! That disingenuous miscreant! What she said! Unless it was nice, in which case, sup that out! Lucky, we cannot let those cats get away with this! Listen, I'm right there with you, but there's no way a bunch of dogs are gonna just walk right into their pound. No, no, there's no way we dogs could get into that pound. But, uh, what about another cat? What do you mean? Well, supposing we disguise some dog as a cat, sneak him into their pound, and take that thing back. Great idea, but where are we gonna find a dog small enough to pass himself off as a cat? Ah, oh, jeez. I really gotta learn to keep my big muzzle shut. Well, this looks like as good a place as any. Great. Now, Squirt, all you gotta do is... Squirt? Where's Squirt? I'm not coming out. Come on, buddy. We're all counting on you. But Cleese starts work on that hot tub day after tomorrow. Besides, don't you want to get back at those no-good cats? Of course I do, but... Then come on. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, all right. Me big, fat, stinking yow. You look great, Squirt. Now get on that sidewalk and make it work. The cat catcher should be by any minute. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, look at me. I'm a cat. Meow and whatnot. It's the truth. Come on, Squirt. This will never work if you don't take it seriously. Fine, fine. Meow. 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 Meow! Add a dog. Or kitty. It's all up to you now, Squirt. Ugh, smells like cat in here. Of course it does. Ah, who said that? 
Don't be scared, little fella. I'm Fluffy from the Kennel Kittens. I'm just hitching a ride back from a mission. What's your name, sugar? The name's Squ uh, uh, Twinkle Bell. Yeah, that sounds like a cat name. I, I mean my name, uh, Twinkle Bell. Oh, nice to meet you, Twinkle Bell. And don't worry, the Kennel Kittens will get you adopted in no time. Oh, I ain't looking to get adopted. I want in. You want to be a member? That's pretty ambitious. Yeah, it is ambitious. Ambitious for you guys, because I just happen to be the best scrounger this side of 4th Street. <laughs> I like your attitude, Twinkle Bell. I'll put in a good word. But first, time to meet the gang. Well, what do you think? Ah, this place is the worst, I mean the best. Why, well, I wish I could uh, hang with those guys and step in kitty litter every day. <laughs> I thought you'd like it, and this is just the top side. The top side? Goodness me, is there another side? Funny you should ask. Uh, is someone gonna clean that up? That's what humans are for. Holy hairball! It's like the cat version of our headquarters. Uh, the headquarters of yours, which I imagined in my head. Oh, hey, Flubs. Welcome back. Looks like you brought a friend. Guys, this is Twinkle Bell. Hi, Hi Twinkle, Twinkle Bell. Bell. Welcome to Happy Valley Shelter. Twinkle Bell here wants to be part of the organization. Apparently, he's a world-class scrounger. Sorry, kid, but we already got a scrounger. Me. Besides, we're a group of highly trained agents. You can't just waltz in here and join up all willy-nilly. No, I get it. I get it. You never can be too careful. It's just... I love Kitty so much. You know, seeing one place in a home licking itself and being all indifferent to its humans, what can I say? You know, it warms the whiskers. Being a kennel kitten is, it's what I was meant to do. So, what do you say? It's obvious he's as passionate about placing kittens as we are. Maybe we should give him a chance. I trust him completely. What? I don't know, Ace. There's something fishy about this guy. I don't mean fishy in the complimentary, delicious way either. How about this? Help us out for a couple of days. We'll see what you've got. Just like that? Ace, we should be on higher security now more than ever, now that we got the, you know what. The what? D did you say you got something? Uh, I mean, even if it's top secret, I mean, you don't gotta worry about me, I'm trustworthy. Gosh, you could trust me with your favorite half-eaten mouse, I'm so trustworthy, huh? Look, Squeak, Fluffy vouches for the guy, so let's give him a shot. And if he proves himself, we'll see. Oh, he'll prove himself. I got a good feeling about this guy. Those dopey cats, I'm in. They made you a kennel kitten? Already? Well, not exactly. That squeak guy's got it in for me. Don't worry, he'll get over it. What about the finger, Maba? Oh, they've got it all right, but I still don't know where. Well, keep your eyes peeled. Hey, Twinkle Bell. Uh-oh, that's me. Good luck, Squirt. Hey, what are you doing over here? Uh, you know, cat stuff, chasing birds, coughing junk up. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I, uh, I want to apologize. I think maybe I was a little rough on you earlier. Really? Yeah, yeah, and to make it up to you, I'm going to send you on a real live kennel kittens mission. Oh, well, uh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, listen, there's a huge supply of discarded mackerel heads in the back of Gabriel's Seafood Shop. It's on A Street. Mackerel heads? Well, what do you want with those? Other than they're delicious. Yeah, exactly. And if you could maybe bring some back for the gang, well, <laughs> we'd all greatly appreciate it, you know what I mean? Well... Uh... Oh, come on, since you're such a great scrounger and all, right? Uh, yeah, sure, sure, no problem. Great, great. Now, remember, it's Gabriel's Seafood Shop. Yeah, yeah, I know the place. I'll be back with the heads. You're sending him off on errands already? I'm glad to see you have faith in him. <laughs> yeah, I've got faith, all right, in the jaws of that big bulldog that guards the place. <laughs> Yo, Chubba, wake up. Hey, if I got a story for you, so this cat sends me here thinking he set me up for a world of pain. Little does he know that you and me are friends. Anyways, <laughs> Just happened. A cat came up and called you his friend? How'd you know? Never mind. Listen, I was wondering if I could cash in on that favor you owe me. You sent him where? Look, it's not that big a deal. What's not that big a deal? He sent Twinkle Bell to Gabriel's. But that's where Chubba lives. We've lost three guys there this month. It's one thing to have the new guy prove himself, but that mission is just downright impossible. Hey, cats and kittens. Who's up for fish heads? What the? How did you? Hey, I'm a scrounger. It's what I do. Nicely done. Listen up, everybody. Twinkle Bell here has just scored us a huge supply of fish heads. <laughs> Listen, Twinkle Bell, maybe, uh, maybe I was wrong about you. 
Maybe you're an okay guy after all, huh? Hey, it was no big deal. Don't underplay it, kid. We could use a guy like you. In fact, why don't you sit in at our meeting tonight? Ace, I thought you'd never ask. Tomorrow's adoptee should be arriving later tonight. We know where her perfect person lives, but the house is in the middle of this gated community, Oak Creek Estates. Unfortunately, the only way in is by entering a code on the keypad with a guard shack. And I don't need to remind any of you, we don't have fingers. What happened to my fingers? You never had them, you yarn bull. Exactly. But now, we don't need them. Thanks to our new acquisition. Google the device. Oak Creek Estates, tomorrow morning at 8, everybody. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> Uh, Twinkle Bell, not so fast. Can you step outside, go check to see if the perimeter is secure? Uh... Could you do that for me? Mm -hmm. Sure, Ace. I'll, uh, I'll get on it. Thanks, pal. And take your time. Never can be too careful. Hey, you, you smell like fish. Never mind that. What about the finger bulb? They showed it to me just a few minutes ago. Excellent. Yeah, only there's no way I can get to it, but you guys just might have a shot. They're using it on a mission tomorrow morning. Eight o'clock, front gate, Oak Creek Estates. Bingo. We'll see you there. And don't you worry, buddy. After tomorrow morning, you'll be back with us for good. Yeah, yeah, look, I, I gotta go. Goodbye, squirt. Forever. What? How much of our plan do you actually understand? We have a plan? Hooray! Twinkle Bell! There you are. Listen, something's up. I think you better come with me. Surprise! You guys threw a party? For me? But well, why? To welcome you as the newest member of the Kennel Kittens. Fluffy? Congratulations, Twinkle Bell. You're an official Kennel Kitten. What you did back at Gabriel's was the bravest thing I've ever heard of. I wish I was half the cat you are. I don't know what to say. Well, I, uh, I, uh... This is Lily. The kitten will be helping out tomorrow. The guys from Shelter 25 just dropped her off. Thanks for helping me to get to my family, Mr. Twinkle Bell. I'm so excited. <sighs> sure, kid. <laughs> Anything for you. Let's party! It's chasing time! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool, right? You know, Fluffy, honestly, it's the best. Hey, 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 what gives? You got a fake tail and hey, your ears and your whiskers? They're fake, too. <gasps> He's not a cat. That cat's a dog. Yeah, not just any dog. That's Squirt from the Pound Puppies. Wait, I can explain. Oh, Twinkle Bell, why? I, I... Hey, isn't it obvious he was after the figure, my bomb? No, I, I mean, yeah, but but that was before I got to know you guys. And... Toss him into Kettle 12. Put his disguise back on so the humans don't suspect anything. We'll deal with this poser after the mission. Oh, my dog, the mission. That poor little kitty. Wait, 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 you guys don't understand. You gotta call it off. You're gonna get... Ah, squeak on that, traitor. Am I still gonna get adopted, Mr. Ace? Don't worry, kid. This mission's going through. And no dog's gonna stop us. All right, Kettle Kittens, up and at him. We've got a kitten to place. It's my dream come true. After you, little lady. And I'm right after you. Let's do this. Just stop, okay? I welcomed you with open paws and you lied to me. I'm sorry I ever got stuck in that truck with you. Yeah, wait, you don't understand you guys are gonna get ambushed and... Oh. Well, there it is, Oak Creek Estates. Boy, I can't wait for those milk breaths to show up. Gonna be payback time. <laughs> get ready, everyone, here they come. Oh, my, you're cute. Hi, baby. Aw, look at you. <sighs> meow. Meow, meow, meow. Why, hello, little guy. My goodness, you're adorable. And now for the coup de grace. Choo! Aw, excuse me. I'd like to take this one home. Oh, certainly. Oh, 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 my goodness! Go back here, you bad barking kitty thing! Oh, 
Okay, everyone, the guard left to make his rounds. That gives us exactly two minutes to get in, get out, and... Not so fast, Ace. I believe you have something of ours. Pound puppies! I should have known. Squirt set us up! Like you set us up! Now give us back our finger, Mabar! We're not giving you nothing. You heard her! Relinquish the device! Make me... Everybody's yelling, so I am down! <laughs> Lucky, we're wrong this time. What? Look, they need the finger Bob more than we do right now. Plain and simple. But it's ours. They stole it from us. Yeah, I know, but only because they figured we wouldn't let them use it if they asked. And you know what? They were right. Of course we were right. Your dogs for flea's sake. And you're the worst of them. Traitor. Look, uh, a couple of days ago, I'd be the first guy to say that there was nothing worse than a pack of snooty, entitled cats. Hey! But, you know, I, I got to know you guys, and you're not so different from us. I stand before you now, proud to call myself a kennel kitten. And as a kennel kitten, as a pound puppy, all I want is what you want, and that's to get this kid to her family. I mean, can any of you really stand in the way of that? <sighs> we could never, with good conscience, stop an animal from being placed in its perfect home, no matter what the species. But what about McLeish's hot tub? It's gonna block tunnel three. Well, we're gonna have to work out a compromise. We can do that now, can't we, Ace? Yeah, I think we can. Come on, dogs. Let's help this little kitty get to her family. It's too late! The god has returned! We'll never be able to punch in the code now! Unless... The old snatch and run? I like the way you think. So let's... Go, cats, go! What he said, but about dogs! Hey, get back here with my coffee and flashlight. Password? Swordfish. Well, Lily, this is it. And just remember, once a kennel kitten, always a kennel kitten. We couldn't have said it better ourselves. <gasps> Mom! Dad! I guess you'll be needing this now. Thanks. It was nice seeing it in action. Um, uh, listen, sorry for taking that thing the way we did, but hey, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. You know, in a weird way, I can respect that. Just don't go swiping anything from us anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll probably be staying out of each other's fur for a while. Come on, guys, back to the pound. We got a McLeish to thwart. Okay. Hey. Oh, hey. Listen, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, look, it's just... Well, you're all right, Squirt. You, you're all right. Uh, thanks, Fluffy. Uh, you ain't so bad yourself. Share a sauce of milk sometime? <laughs> I like that. Hey, and uh, bring a fish head, will you? A fish head? Oh, gross! She's nibbling. Yeah, sometimes you're such a dog. <laughs> Bada boom! She's gonna love you. You two are a statistically perfect match. Plus, I can feel it in my gut, which means I get to do my favorite part. Twiggy, as you go off to your new home, just remember, once a pound puppy, always, always a pound, pound puppy. Oh, I've waited so long to hear those words. So go get your human already. I tell you, Midge, it's hard to find the right dog. I've looked on the internet and pet stores and... Hey, where's my brush? <gasps> well, now, who are you? Oh boy, this gives me a big warm feeling in my tummy. No, wait. Uh, it's just gas. Well, I got the same feeling, and it's not gas, it's pride. Because we're the best pound puppy unit in the world. Cocky much? Hey, why shouldn't I be cocky? 
We can place any pup, match any master, foster any foundling, and still get home before Olaf breaks out the evening kibble. We're the super pow puppies. That's not exactly how I would say it, but why not? Squirt's got a point, Cookie. After all, name a wiener dog smarter than me, or a big dog stronger than Niblet, or a guard dog tougher than you. We're a pretty great team, if you ask me. True, we're good. I'll admit it. But you guys gotta admit something, too. We couldn't do any of it without you-know-who. Who? Him. Yeah, that's true. He's the man. Doc! Stop, you're making me blush. Under my fur, I mean. Seriously, Luck, how do you do it? How do you always find the right dog for the right person right at the last minute when everything looks like it's gonna fall apart? Well, just good at my job, I guess. Ah, come on, admit it, boss. You didn't get your name by nothing. You're the luckiest dog I ever met. Now, Squirt, you know I don't believe in luck. I believe in talent. Yeah, talent. Good one, boss. Oh, Lucky, you're a card. Hey, where are we? Gee, I don't know. I, uh, I've never been down this alley before, but uh, unless I'm mistaken, we just go down here and, uh... Nope, not that way. Hmm, I wonder how a dog gets out of this place. I think it's this way. No, 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 it's that way. Well, maybe it's that way and that it's this way, then... You're all wrong. There's only one way out, and that is... Through there! That way looks scary. Yeah, it don't make any sense. I mean, we came in one way. Uh, we must be able to get out that way too, right? <laughs> you think so, eh? Well, if you want to be lost forever, go ahead and try. But if you want to get back home, you must get through the alley of despair. I'm picking lost forever. How about you guys? Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe we should try some other way. You know, for Niblet's sake. Oh, come on, don't be a scaredy dog. But I am a scaredy dog. I am, I am, I am. Boom! Ow! <laughs> what is this place? And why is it so dark? And who are the, those guys? Double, double, toil and trouble. Magic soup with lots of bubbles. Excuse me, cats, but we seem to have gotten a little lost, and... Eye of Newt and Toe of Frog, Wool of Bat and Spit of Dog. These cats are starting to bug me. And they're scary, too. Although their soup sounds kind of tasty. Look, I like rhyming cat cooks as much as the next dog, but we were wondering if you could tell us the way out, and... None shall pass to see the grass, nor have good luck and fortuna, unless they fetch and not fetch for us a great big tuna! A tuna? None of those canned tunas either. We want a real tuna. The head, the tail, the whole stinking thing. You're blackmailing us for a fish? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Uh-oh. You shouldn't have said that. Do what we say or you'll be cursed. With luck so bad, you'll wish the worst. Oh, gonna curse us with bad luck, huh? Don't make them bad, Lucky. And just how do you three mangy cats and your one-eyed sidekick think you're gonna do that? With Tabo! Hey guys, who are you? Name's Taboo, and I'm 100% bad luck. And now his luck is yours. Oh, brother. Look, kid, can you show us the way out of here? Sure, it's not too far. Follow me. Go ahead, walk away, but you'll be back. You'll be back. <laughs> Lousy hairballs. Here you go. We made it! Oh! <laughs> Will you quit that? After all the scary cats and bad luck dogs I've seen, kids at sidewalks is the least I could do. Come on, Nibs, this little guy's not bad luck. Actually, I am. I never even had a home of my own because every time a person thinks they might like me, my bad luck ruins everything. But that's okay. It's sort of like dog breath. You learn to live with it. Look, kid, we're the pound puppies. And if there's one thing we know, it's how to find the perfect person for the perfect dog. So come with us. We'll find you a home in no time. Right, guys? Right. Sure. Yep. Uh, look, uh, can I talk to you? What are you doing, huh? Oh, we can't take this mutt to the pound. Uh, not you, too. Look, Luck, I'm as brave as the next guy. But when you work the streets, you realize there's something to this curses stuff. You mean he is bad luck? Uh, I don't know for sure, but I gotta tell you. That means we take a home, we'll be cursed too, just like the cat said. Oh, will you both stop it? There's no such thing as bad luck, and this little dog is not cursed. <laughs> My bad. Little 
more shampoo behind the left ear there, Nut Nut. We want this little fella to shine like a diamond collar and a cold moon. Look, Miss Dolly, I appreciate all you're doing, but it's not really going to make any difference. I'm cursed, see? Come on, kid, stop saying that. Yeah, honey bunch, the only thing cursed about you is your hair lick. And there's not much we can do about that, is there? It's not that I mind being cursed. I just want to let you guys know in advance so you don't get your hopes up. I mean, a lot of dogs have tried to help, and a lot of dogs have failed. What are the dogs? Oh, you know, the dogs of Pound 13 and Pound Triple Zero and all the pounds around town. And none of them could find you a home? Nope. Finally, they all just gave up, got the cats their tuna, and sent me back to the alley. Well, that's not going to happen this time, kiddo, because we are the Super Pound Puppies. Right, guys? Who came up with a dumb name like that? Uh, what Nimble's trying to say, boss, is uh, we're not with you this time. All right? I mean, bad luck is bad luck. You can't just wash it off with soap and water. You know, I get why Niblet believes in all this hocus pocus stuff. I mean, he refuses to eat out of the left side of his dish every Tuesday, Friday, and third Monday. That's all the magic flea angels won't get me. But you, Squirt, you I don't understand. You're smart, you're worldly, you see through everything. How could you possibly believe? Ah! You see, everything the kid touches turns to wet kibble. He's right, Mr. Lucky. I'm a jinx. It's just a coincidence, kid. Now, come on, let's prove these naysayers wrong. Coincidence, huh? A coincidence that ruined my poem. OK, check it out. You couldn't possibly get more lucky than this. It's a perfect day, school's out, there's a lot of kids here with their parents. Yeah, but I don't think any of them are gonna wanna take me. Oh, come on, there's no reason to talk like that. I mean, at least give it a- Holy Copernicus! I have never seen a puppy like him before. How's it going, little guy? Did you find one, Mr. Geekman? I sure did, Olaf. After all these years of scientifically searching every pound in the city. Well, I told you you would find them eventually. Although seven years is a little longer than I thought. Oh, he's more perfect than Pi. Oh, I can't wait to show him to all of the kids in my algebra class. For once, they'll see that their old math teacher's search for perfection has come to fruition. All I have to do now is ride home, tell the wife, and bring her back here to see our new pet. See, I told you he's not bad luck. Be sure to put a little sign on the gate, Olaf. I don't want anybody to take that dog before I... Ow! Mr. Geekman! Oh. oh, no. No, he's not bad luck at all. I'm okay. No need to worry. I'll be back as soon as my bones set. See? Every time a person likes me, I'm a bad luck accident waiting to happen. Maybe the kid's right, love. Maybe we should take him back to the alley. At least he's got a home there. Man, we just gotta find a tuna. Uh-uh, no way. I am not gonna give in to a bunch of scraggly alley cats. That's what they all say at first. <laughs> but you might as well face it, dog face. The hag cats have cursed you, and there's no escape. Except tuna. Hey, watch it! Ridiculous! Absurd! Schnitzel Gruben! Uh, schnitzel what? Huh? Lucky's right, and you all know it. Bad luck is superstition, no matter what this cyclops says. Okay, smarty dog. Think what you want to think, but you'll see. You'll see. I will find Tabu a home, and I'll use science to do it. Behold my latest invention, the all-new Free Kid Database 10,000. With these wires, we're connected to every phone line, cable outlet, and satellite dish in the city. This baby is cross-referenced, solar-powered, and voice-activated. Ooh! Which means all you have to do is talk in here and say exactly what you're looking for in a person. Well, uh, let's see. I guess I'm looking for a boy or a girl or a man or a woman or whatever else kind of person there is who wants a small but friendly dog with no fleas, good breath, and a tendency to ruin everything he touches. <laughs> Strike that last part and send it out. Now watch and wait. What's happening? Turn down the dilithium orb! Turn up the FPG! Watch out! He's gonna blow! Ah! Are you okay? That dog is cursed. Oh. Hello, City Fish Mart. How's your ahi? Uh, never mind. You okay, kid? 
Everywhere I go, it's been the same old story. Dogs start out thinking they can do something to help, but sooner or later, they realize the truth. I'm a jinx. Come on, bad stuff happens to everybody. Not like it does to me. Ever since the day I was born. Hmm. I remember it like it was months ago. It was months ago. Shh. I was the runt of the litter. The one too many. The kid who made everybody else mad. I mean, no one was mean to me or anything. My brothers and sisters always let me play in their puppy games. It's just that somehow I always managed to do the wrong thing. Whoa! And finally, I realized that nobody wanted me around, even me. So I did what any self-respecting runt of the litter would do. I ran away. I was wet, I was sad, I was hungry. And that's when I met the cats of the alley. They gave me food and a place to stay. And they told me what no one else had been willing to tell me before, that I was cursed. Which is why they named me Taboo. <laughs> it's the saddest story ever. And the most ridiculous. I mean, come on. What kind of a friend tells a friend he's bad luck? The honest kind? There's no such thing as bad luck. Easy for you to say. Your name's Lucky. Oh, will everybody stop saying that? I'm just a normal, average dog with the same luck as anybody else. Oh, yeah? You ever fallen down a manhole? No. Ever had a tree fall on your head? Well... Ever been hit by lightning? Of course not. Well, I have. I've had all those things happen and more. I'm a curse, a jinx. And anybody who hangs out with me is jinxed too. Just one tuna. That's all we ask. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. Gee, Lucky, maybe you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, we don't want to get any more bad luck than we already have. You guys are believing a lie, and I'm going to prove it to you. Lucky, where are you going? Showing you all that there's no such thing as bad luck. Unless you're me. Wrong. The only reason you're bad luck is because you think you're bad luck. And why? Because a bunch of cats told you so. But if believing in bad luck makes it come true, then believing in good luck can make that come true too, right? Nice try, Lucky. But I'd need more than a fancy speech to make me believe something like that. Which is why I've come out here. Uh, what are you doing? Stepping on cracks. Supposed to be bad luck, right? But look, I'm stepping, I'm stepping, and nothing's happening. Nothing. Hey, it didn't hit Lucky. Cause Lucky's lucky. Oh yeah? Well, what about this? Bad luck to walk under a ladder, eh? Lucky, don't! Why not? I don't see any bad luck, do you? Help, help, get it off! Ah, bad luck for him. I'm cursed! Ugh. Seven years of bad luck, right? Lucky, no! You don't want to mess with mirrors! Let go, Kurt. I will let go where you let go. Times seven is 91 years. That's 637 years to you and me. <laughs> Look, kid, I, I was just trying to... Well, don't, okay? I know you're trying to do a nice thing, Lucky, but you don't understand. I'm not just bad luck. I'm a loser, a reject. I'm the guy everyone wants to stay away from. So just do the same, okay? Just leave me alone and let me be the loser I know I am. No. What? You heard me. I'm not gonna let you be who you think you are. Lucky, where are you going? To do what I should have done long ago. Uh, you want me to call City Fish Mart? For those cats? No tuna. You don't have to go in there, Mr. Lucky. Yes, I do. I have to find out how they did this to you. They did it by knowing the secrets of the scary world and stuff. The big guy's right. Those cats prove bad luck is real. Not to me. Come on. 
I think they were down this way. I think they were down that way. <laughs> well, look who's come back with their doggy tails between their doggy legs. I hope you brought the tuna doggies. Just take us to the witches, will you? Okay, but if you didn't bring the fish, I'd hate to be in your paws. I'm not scared of witch cat. I'm not scared of witch cat. I'm not scared of... Whoa! I am! I am scared of witch cats! Double, double, toil and bubble! Better have tuna or there'll be trouble! Sorry, but uh, we don't have your stinking tuna. And we're not gonna give you any either. How'd they do that? How'd they do that? Yeah, yeah. We know you can make thunder. We know you can make the alley dark in the middle of the day. But the one thing we don't know is why you told Taboo he was cursed. Black is bad and so are we. Give us tuna or you'll get fleas. Fleas? Oh, no! You've already got fleas. Oh, yeah, but still. Oh, no! Oh, great cat queens of the alley. Please forgive these dogs. They've been nicer to me than any dogs in any of the other pounds I've ever been to. They stood by my side no matter what, especially Lucky. And somehow, just the fact that they thought maybe I wasn't cursed made me feel like... Whoa! Ow! Scary magic! Them cats have been making this stuff happen all along! Scram! Get back before we curse you with our scary magic! Why, you little faker. What? No, no, <laughs> no, it's not what you think. We was just joking. Having a little fun with our old pal Taboo, that's all. So this whole thing was a ploy to make us think Taboo was bad luck? That was so mean. Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> How else is an alley cat supposed to get tuna? And we love tuna, don't we, guys? Yep, uh-huh. Sure do. So everything we saw, all the bad luck that happened to Taboo and us, was actually created by you cats? Pretty much. Yep, uh-huh. Sure was. But how? Simple, actually. You want to make it rain? You use hoses. You want to splash a bunch of dogs on the street? You use buckets. You want to mess up some fancy invention? You tie up a few wires. Dumping paint, jumping on houses, slamming gates. All pretty easy gags, if you think about it. Yeah, as long as you do it so no dumb dogs can see. Ouch! I mean, smart dogs, smart dogs. But this means I'm not bad luck. I'm not cursed. And maybe, just maybe, you're not a loser after all. So, can we go now? We got a couple of mice to chase and... Yeah, yeah, you can go. But first, you gotta promise you'll never do anything like that again. Cause we know where you live. And we know who you really are. I think. Okay, we promise. Don't we, guys? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Sure do. Then scram. Oh! <laughs> well, we sure cleared that up. Although I have no idea what anybody was talking about. Well, at least we scared those cats straight. For a while, anyway. Yeah. So let's go home. Hey, what's wrong, kid? You don't seem as thrilled about knowing you're not cursed as I thought you would be. No, it's just that, well, I've been Taboo the Bad Luck Pup so long, I'm not sure who I really am anymore. I mean, what am I supposed to do now? Well, even though I don't believe in luck, I have noticed that things usually work out in ways you never see coming. Oh, yeah? Like how? Ah! Why does this always happen to me? I must have the worst luck of anybody who's ever lived. <gasps> It's him! It's my person! Now I know what to do. Are you sure? Hey, if there's anybody who knows how he feels, it's me. Well then, just remember this, kid. Once a pound puppy, always, always a, a pound, pound puppy. puppy. Thanks, guys. It's you! My perfect pie puppy! <laughs> I know, I know! I'm happy to see you too. You are the only good thing that's happened to me for so long. I'm gonna call you lucky. Hey, you are who you believe you are, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Joke all you want. The fact is, I proved my point. There's no such thing as bad luck.
Hey, that could have happened to anyone. <laughs> <laughs>